Hey boys, it's Arm9. Today we're going to be customizing the B11 Strike Force in Grand Theft Auto Online. Now this thing is on sale until tomorrow when you guys are seeing this. I'm recording this on Tuesday, but it's going to be off sale on Thursday. So by the time you guys are seeing this, you're going to have to rush out to buy it because this is the last day that it will actually be on sale. So I ended up getting rid of my old B11 to get this new B11 to customize for you guys. So we're gonna go ahead and hop inside right now and see what we can do to this thing. And then we're gonna do a review after. So to start off with the armor, we have obviously, we have to upgrade it to 100%. For the bombs, we have several different options here. Um, I have heard that the regular explosive bombs are good. I've also heard clusters are good. Uh, gas and incendiary both like suck so i guess we'll put on the explosive ones um they seem to be you know pretty good at least uh we do have all these smoke trails that we can do i honestly don't even like i've never used this in my life we'll do a red smoke trail though why not and of course we will equip uh chaff because chaff is better and i guess that unequips the red smoke so okay awesome whatever we'll, we'll do chaff i guess uh we're gonna upgrade the engine all the way up on this thing as well for the handling i want race handling i like my planes to maneuver as quickly as possible and as aggressively as possible so race handling is the best for that um if you want the plane to just handle like it does stock handling is going to be the best for you uh sport is like a good in between and smooth is like just a little step up from stock so i like race handling i think it's the best for me personally so we'll uh, we'll do race handling now as far as the livery goes we have the regular livery it says bert on the back which is pretty cool uh, obviously that's making a reference to the to the gun that's on this thing we have the hog livery we have the snake we have the shark we have the bunny we have the camo shark we have the camo hog we have the woodland camo hog that's pretty cool we have the white tipped hog as well we also have the camo snake camo Stealth camo, hog. Oh, okay, that's interesting. And back to none. Um, so I typically don't go for anything too adventurous with this thing, but I do kind of like the camo hog. So we're gonna go for this. I think that looks really good. And for the respray, I don't know what this actually really changes. I guess it's just kind of how dark it is. Um, I'm gonna go for a matte black camo on this thing or a matte black uh, respray because it kind of helps to have the plane, you know, be a little bit more of a flat color. So I, I do like that. It's not as reflective. I think it looks a little bit better. Um, so here we are inside the Warthog. We've got it, you know, fully customized. In case you guys are wondering how much it sells for after you buy it and upgrade it, it goes for $1,207,000. So it's, uh, you, you're gonna lose a lot of money if you buy it. You're gonna lose a uh, million dollars and actually you're gonna lose more than that because of upgrades. So it, if you're gonna buy it, be sure of buying it. That's all I'm gonna say. So we're gonna take this thing outside now and uh, we're gonna give it a shot. We're gonna do a little review on the plane and uh, I'm gonna let you guys know my thoughts on it. Okay, so here we are outside in the B11 Strike Force. Now, the B11 Strike Force, it does have a lot of really cool features with it, but it also does have some drawbacks. So, we're going to we're going to get into it. Um this plane, a really cool feature with the B11 is it's more dramatic with the B11 than any other plane in the game, but the lower you are to the ground, the slower that the plane actually flies. So, even at full acceleration, the plane is pretty slow when you're this close to the ground. However, if you get really, really high up in the air, the B-11 is actually one of the faster planes in the game. As you guys can see, we are traveling at a uh, much, much quicker pace, even just being this high up in the air. Now, this is accurate um, to real life because, you know, the air resistance is less the higher you go. And the closer you are to the ground, the denser the air is, so your plane is going to be a little bit slower. So this is accurate to real life, and it also does help with attacking things because if you're really low to the ground, you're going to have more time to line up your shot with the B-11 than you would with some of the other planes in the game because of this now, all planes in the game do have this feature. It's just the B-11 is more dramatic than most of the other planes. Now, the B-11, I do like how this thing handles as a plane. It is very, very maneuverable, which is very nice. Another unique feature with the B-11 is this thing actually has armor, whereas like planes like the P-996 Laser and the Hydra both, um, if you crash into something, your plane is done for. Whereas the B-11, as you guys can see, I'm just like tapping the ground and it doesn't really matter. So this is kind of a cool feature with the B-11. As you guys can see, I didn't even have the landing gear down or anything like that. And you can slam this thing into the ground. You can even hit telephone poles, stuff like this. And the plane is going to be fine for the most part. Obviously, I think I've just killed it now because it's upside down or maybe not. 
Hang on. Let's see if we can, uh, let's see if we can fix this somehow. Maybe we can't. I don't think we can. Okay. Um, I'll see you guys in a second. All right. So, uh, yeah, the, the, the B11, it, it blew up. Um, but we're back in it now. So as I was saying, this thing does have a lot of armor. So you can crash this thing into things, you know, if you make a mistake with the B11, that is the nice thing about this plane, is you can usually correct it because it's just, well, it's not gonna blow up instantly when you hit something that you don't mean to hit, obviously. Of course, with the B11, we also get the countermeasures, which is a pretty unique feature. Planes like the Hydra and the Laser don't get that. So having the chaff is pretty nice for when you're getting a missile lock on. The B11 is basically the best armed plane in the entire game. As far as uh, different, you know, weapons that you can use with this thing, obviously we have the main cannon. Now, unfortunately, the main cannon really, really sucks against players. This thing is actually not going to kill a player in one shot. Uh, you're going to need to hit them with multiple shots with this cannon to actually kill them, which is really, really annoying. I wish that this cannon was as good as the Hydra or the laser, but I can kind of see why it's not because of all the good features that this plane has other than the cannon. So the cannon is not very good. It's good against taking out, you know, vehicles, cars and stuff like that. This is still going to one shot any car um, other than, you know, armored vehicles like the insurgent stuff like that. But as far as regular cars go, this thing is still going to one shot them, if not two shot them. So the cannon is still pretty good. It does make a really cool noise. The cannon sounds very similar to its real life counterpart, which is of course the A-10 Warthog or the A-10 Thunderbolt as it's officially known. So that's it for the cannon, but what about the homing missiles? Of course, this thing does have homing missiles, so you can lock onto, you know, whatever you need to lock onto. These are completely spammable as well, as long as you just hold down the shoot button, they're gonna keep coming out of the plane as quickly as possible. So that's very nice, they are completely spammable. And then of course we have the barrage. Now this shoots seven missiles in a very, very rapid succession. These missiles can deal out a ton of damage and they cover a lot of ground. As you guys can see when I'm shooting with these, like it's, you know, you're hitting a lot of things. Um, oh boy, oh boy. This is a bit rough. Okay, hang on. So you really have to watch uh, with the B11 because obviously if you uh, if you get this thing stuck like I have right here, you well, you're out of luck pretty much. Um, I can slowly back this thing out, but it's just not gonna be good. So I'm just gonna blow myself up and uh, I'll see you guys in another minute here. Okay, so we're back at the B11 again. I promise that I'm not actually a terrible pilot. I'm just trying to show you guys the features of this thing and uh, it just keeps going kind of wrong. So like I was saying, uh, the barrage is really, really good. Obviously you can spam seven missiles, I believe it is, which is pretty nuts. Uh, you can cover a lot of ground with, you know, explosions with the uh, the missile barrage. So if you're trying to take out, you know, players or NPCs, whatever you're really trying to take out with the B11, you're gonna be able to do it, you know, quite quite effectively, I feel like. This thing is just super well armed. So you have the explosive MG, you have the homing missiles that are completely spammable, and you also have the barrage as well, which is really nice. But then you of course also have the bombs that you can drop at this thing as well. So the bomb bay is quite good with this. Uh, bombs in general are quite good. They're really hard to aim and like honestly, they really like aren't that great of a function to have, but they can be kind of fun. Uh, so, you know, having bombs, having the barrage, having the explosive MG, having the homing missiles, you have a lot of different ways that you can kill people with the B-11 strike force. On top of that, it does have that good armor, like I said. So if you do make a mistake and you hit a building, you're going to be okay at least you know the first time and provided that you don't just get stuck on your roof or something like that it's stuck upside down whatever you want to call it stuck in a fence uh you know any of these ways you, you just don't want to get stuck but of course the armor is also good for protection from missiles and stuff like that because it does allow you to take i believe three homing missiles before this thing blows up so on the third homing missile you will blow up with the b11 strike force but that is pretty good protection uh you might lose an engine but you will still be able to fly the plane for a considerable amount of time uh, considering the damage that's been done to it. On top of that, it is also fast. Like I said, once you go up in the air a little bit, this, this plane is one of the faster ones in the game. Uh, not as fast as the Hydra, not as fast as the Laser, I don't think, but it is still pretty fast. Overall, the B-11 Strike Force is a really solid plane, and if you are going to buy it now, is literally the best time to buy it. it. It will probably come up for another year. I believe the plane is going for $2.4 million right now, or 2.6, or 2.2. It's one of the three. It's, it's a steal right now, I gotta say. It is truly one of the best planes in 
in all of Grand Theft Auto Online as far as usefulness goes. Uh, this thing is absolutely awesome. So I have to say I recommend picking up the B11, guys. Uh, just, you know, be careful with how you use it. Try not to get caught in a fence or anything like that, and uh, you should be fine. Anyway, guys, if you enjoyed this video, if you learned something, a like is, of course, appreciated. If not, dislike. Subscribe if you guys are new, and I will see you all in the next video. Until then, take care. Peace.